Welcome everyone. I am Noura Abdel Majid and I am presenting Biodev Tab Semantic Table Annotation Benchmark Construction Analysis and the New Edition. This is a joint work with Sirko Schindler and Brigitte Konekris, University of Vienna, Germany. The semantic table annotation gained an increasing attention during the previous years, especially since 2019 when the SEMTAB challenge has started. With the focus on the most common tasks, they are as follows. CEA or cell entity annotation matches individual cells to entities from the knowledge graph. Second, CTA or column type annotation assigns a semantic type to the table column. Third, column property annotation or CPA links column pairs using semantic property from the knowledge graph. Semantic table annotation tasks are usually evaluated by benchmarks. These benchmarks are mostly automatically generated and derived from the general domain. However, tough tables dataset is an exception where it is manually created and focuses on ambiguity. Domain specific real world benchmarks pose specific challenges other than those in the current typical benchmarks and are not yet addressed in the community. In the following, I would explain the construction pipeline of BioDevTab as an example benchmark from the biodiversity domain. In addition, I would show its characteristics, applications, and availability and long-term plan. Finally, I would conclude this work and point out future directions. BioDevTab has a six stage stages construction pipeline. Starting with the data collection phase, we have searched both Pixis, Biff China, and Data World using 20 keywords like species and abundance. The three of these data repositories are well established for the ecological data. We manually checked if the downloaded tables suit the semantic table annotation tasks. For example, we have excluded these data sets that contain mostly internal IDs or numerical, or numerical fields without further context. At the end of this stage, we have selected 13 data sets to be annotated. We have analyzed the collected tables to explore their unique characteristics and challenges. The most common challenges are shown in the following example. At first, nested entities, where the individual cells contain multiple named entities at the same time. In this example, we have a researcher name combined with his institute in the same cell. Typos are also found in string values like the case with the University of Hala here. Acronyms are widely used, especially with the species names, and also in the case of chemical compound symbols. Lack of context due to the unclear header or because of so many missing, missing values. Synecdoche, like the case of using a city name instead of, instead of a full river name to express the species ecosystem in their study. In addition, both of specimen and numerical data reflects the measurements are common in the biodiversity studies. Last but not least, missing values, including the fields that denote undetermined, unknown, or not applicable, are also, co are also commonly found. Such list of issues differentiate the biodiversity-specific benchmark versus the general domain and auto-generated datasets. In this talk, we will see if these challenges affected the performance of systems that try to solve the semantic table annotation tasks. The second stage of the pipeline is obtaining the annotation for both CA and CTA. We haven't, support, we haven't supported the CPA task due to the specimen data issue we have discussed in the previous slide. For CA annotation, we manually searched for terms inside the categorical columns in Wikidata built in search. We simulated this ambiguation process by a scientist. Then we have picked all possible true matches for each cell of possible candidate column. For CTA, we have two levels of correct semantic types, perfect and correct or okay classes. The perfect annotations for most of the columns are determined by the property of B31 in Wikidata page. However, for taxon-related fields, and, and since they are all instances of taxon, we believed that it might not be a fine-grained solution enough. 
Thus, we have created a simple questionnaire for biodiversity experts to select the most correct type for a hierarchy of taxons. Both experts selected the option that represents P105 taxon rank as the perfect solution. However, they also agreed that P31 or instance of which has the value of taxon is also correct. Then we followed the biodiversity expert's opinion and selected the taxon rank as the perfect annotation and considered the B31 values as OK classes as well. To ensure the quality of the notations, the biodiversity experts reviewed around one third of the notations. Our error rate is around 1%. Due to that low error rate, the effort of this step outweighed its benefits. Thus, we have decided to continue annotating the remainder of tables without further revisions. We applied data augmentation in order to increase the number of tables in the BioDev tab benchmark and reduce the manual effort of the annotation. We programmatically added or resolved the observed issues during the data collection phase. For example, we have merged and separated various columns, which reflects the nested entity issue. The same idea also applied when we introduced acronyms by abbreviating more species. In addition, we have disambiguated columns with synecdoche to create an easier version of the table to be annotated. At the end of this step, we have created 37 slightly modified versions of the tables using our data augmentation techniques. In the assembly phase, we have anonymized the table names using unique identifiers and aggregated the separate ground tools files to generate one for, e for all tables per task, one for CA and one for CTA. We also followed the general approach by SEMTAP challenge about hiding the, gen the ground truth from participants during the challenge itself. Thus, we have created so-called targets files where we dropped the annotation column from each of which. To enable the approximations of scores as introduced in SIMTAP 2020, we have constructed ancestors types for CTA that grant partial scores of the annotation. We run three consecutive Sparkle queries where we featured the direct types via B31 of the perfect annotations as level one of OK classes. We queried again the parents of this level one of the OK classes, but this time via subclass of property and save those as level two of the OK classes. Finally, we repeated the second step, but with the level two to have level three. If the perfect annotation is a class, we start from the second step. We start from the second step directly. This year, we included annotations from DBpedia, where we exploited the links between Wikidata and the Wikipedia. Since there is a one-to-one -one mappings between Wikipedia and the DBpedia, we created DBpedia mappings for them. In addition, we extracted all same as mappings between Wikidata and DBpedia in order to complete the annotations from DBpedia itself. We have encountered two issues while creating DBpedia ground truth. At first, data quality issues, for example, the um, glutomatic asset that is mapped to 172 DBpedia entries as in April 2022. Thus, we have manually corrected those entries. Second, we found that the generated types of or the CTA solutions are only in DBpedia resources. Thus, we have manually added types from DBpedia ontology to the generated ones, if and only if it makes sense. For example, we didn't include the military unit as a correct type for species, as listed in DBpedia in September 2022. In the following, I demonstrate the insights of BioDevTab. In terms of its characteristics, at first, the table on the right shows the original and the selected table size of the collected tables. In addition, the total number of annotations per task. We have 114 semantic type for the CTA, and we have more than 
21,600 annotations for CA. This table shows the data source and the target knowledge graph for BioDevTab and the existing benchmarks. Similar to SimTab 2021, BioDevTab has both Wikidata and DBpedia as target knowledge graphs. Unlike all the existing, BioDevTab has been driven from the ecological data and thus domain-specific. This figure proves the specificity of BioDevTab to the biodiversity domain. It shows that there are more than two-thirds of the unique semantic types belong to the domain. Biodiversity-related types are, for example, species, chemical compounds, and soil types. The general domain ones are, for example, visibility, scale, and cost. However, river and temperature could belong to both biodiversity and general domain, thus they are classified as mixed. This table here shows the most and least frequent types in BioDevTab. From the table, the most frequent type is the species, which reflects its importance in the biodiversity domain. Then it's followed by calcium. However, the least common ones are like intensity and special protection area. We will see if BioDevTab is really hard to solve. We demonstrate the hardness level of BioDevTab compared to the hardest level of the automatically generated dataset hard tables. Hard tables are presented during the last round of SEMTAP 2021. This table below shows the top participants scores during SEMTAP 2021, where the target annotations is, the, is Wikidata. At first, we compared the highest scores of CA task on both benchmarks. For, by, for hard tables, the highest score is more than 97% by Daguba. However, for BioDevTap, it's more than 60% that is achieved by Intap. Second, for CTA, the highest score is 99% by also Daguba team, where it's slightly above 59% by Kepler for BioDevTap. Such differences in these scores highlight the hardness level that a realistic dataset could reach. BioDev tab codes and data are publicly available in Zenodo and GitHub under the following links and QR codes. The code and data are available under Apache License 2 and the Creative Common Attribution 4 International License, respectively. To conclude, in this presentation, I have demonstrated the construction pipeline of BioDev tab that is the first benchmark for semantic table annotation from the biodiversity domain. It consists of 50 tables from realistic biodiversity specific tables and data augmentation. BioDevTab is publicly used during the same tab challenge last year and this year, where it poses realistic domain specific challenges compared to the automatically generated datasets. We see multiple directions to continue this work. We plan to include more tables from the biodiversity domain. In addition, we plan to apply further quality checks by enabling multi-annotators annotation and calculating the inter-rater agreements. Moreover, we also plan to provide a ground truth from domain-specific knowledge graphs. Last but not least, we plan to analyze the performance of the semantic table annotation systems on BioDevTap. We would like to thank our biodiversity experts for the fruitful discussions and the annotation revisions. And we would like to thank you all for listening.